Hey everyone, I'm going to take a minute now to take off a seven and three quarter inch tilt and belt off of a old projector. Now if you have one of these or one that's similar to this, it's going to be identical to how I'm going to do this today. Now this has a lot of different belts within it, but this flat one right here is the one that usually goes and when that one goes, it's, they're pretty expensive, number one, and number two, they're very hard to find. Uh, but what I'm going to do here today is show you how simple it is to take one off without even taking the motor off. Now you can take the motor off, um, but I usually do it without it. It's quicker and you don't really need to do it. So first thing you want to do is get rid of your light source for, for a minute. Just pull your, your light bulb out. Uh, it doesn't really matter what style light bulb it is. Just pull it out. Be careful with it. Do not touch the light bulb with your fingertips. Use a cloth because the oils from your finger uh, or fingers will um, damage the bulb. So first thing I want to do is take off the fan. It just pulls right off. And get that out of your way. Next thing is is you have your spring here. And this spring basically just holds this bottom pulley up a little bit, giving it slack so that way it can spin free without the shutter actually engaging yet. Um, so I'm just going to basically grab it and pull it out of the way. Simple. And then I also have to get a few of these other belts out of my way. That one there we'll just pull off. And then this one right here we're going to pull off as well. I'm just bring it around, hang it up, get it out of your way. Now now that we have we're, we have this pretty much exposed. Now this next part's a little bit tricky, um, but it's it's pretty simple actually once you do it a few times. Um, but basically, you just want to get it started. Now you just want to start working this this uh, one pulley up as you're grabbing a hold of it with your with your hand, and you'll you'll see that once you do that, it's going to start up just like that, and then you're just going to keep working it. It's real easy. Boom, it's off. Okay. Now the tricky part, if you're not going to take the motor off, is getting it to to go by this this other pulley but I just turn it on its side and just bring it down and let's see and get it out of there just like that now this here is actually a brand new bell this is one that you'd be buying in this uh, in this auction it's uh, the same material you know you can see it's a green material that side and a black material that side and it's non stretchable you cannot stretch this bell okay so it will last for a very very long time um, but they do go bad. I mean, the, the more you use them, you know, they are going to break down over time. Um, but the, the next thing that I would definitely do is I would take and clean this surface and this surface. And if you have a projector you just bought and, you know, it's looking really dirty back here, I'd clean this whole thing, okay? I'd clean everything and I would oil all of these pulleys, okay? I know this isn't, isn't related to your, to your belt. Uh, here that I'm talking about, but while I'm in here, I just wanted to show everybody when you do do that, you want to make sure that all this stuff is clean. Take one of those um, uh, compressed air in the can and just blow it all out of here. And then the next thing you want to do is clean this and this because those are your two main drive pulleys there. This is your shutter and this is your drive pulley down here. Okay, so you want to keep them clean. And how you how you do that is a couple different ways. If it's really built up, you may need to use a little tiny piece of steel wool. Um, I've done that before and it cleans it up really nice and then just clean it off with some alcohol. If it's not that bad, then just go ahead and use um, just some cleaning solution. You can even use a mild detergent like soap or something. But Just make sure you get it all off with a nice clean cotton rag. Um, but other than that, that's all. And just the other thing is right here, uh, there's a little little washer down in here. But this sometimes gets kind of kind of gummed up and you want to just make sure that that's clear of any uh, dust or anything that collects there and also you want to oil that from time to time with a little sewing machine oil uh, that works really well um, but other than that that's about it now take the belt and you want to work it back in there okay that's like I said that's the tricky part of this whole thing is just getting the belt if you're not going to take the motor off um, which I usually don't and I just get it behind there just like that and get it started up on top and then just work it around boom it's already on it's that quick now a lot of people are, are thinking that this is too loose. Well, it is and it isn't. You want it to be loose because when the projector engages um, and it's not in the forward or the reverse position, this is going to spin down here, um, but the, the, uh, the shutter is not going to spin as of yet, not until this gets engaged. Okay, um, That's kind of what the spring is for, too. It holds this bottom pulley up. See how I can move that right there? See? So it, it, um, it gives it a little bit of flexibility there. Now, if you get your belt on and you notice that the belt is uh, either too tight or not tight enough, you can adjust that. And there's a little, hold this out of the way for you, there's a little hex head right down in there, 
okay? And all you do is you just take your little hex head, little quarter inch driver, you put it in there, and you counterclockwise to loosen it, and then you just take your hand, your finger, on this side, and then this side, and you just flex it, and it will actually expand. Or it can contract the other way. Um, but there is some uh, adjustability there, okay? So now that you have that on, okay, I'm going to put the other belts that we took off back on. So you just wiggle that back in, get that back right around there. Take the other belt that was up here on the top, bring that around and through there. And that's basically it. And what I'm going to do in this video too, I'll also put up a, uh, a picture of the actual belt configuration of all these other belts. So if you are buying this for just the Tilton, fine. If you're buying it for all the other belts that are included, um, it'll give you an actual diagram of how they actually go. Because there's actually small little ones back here as well. And the other thing is, is this rubber tire up here. That's another thing that is that usually goes, um, if you're just getting an old projector and it hasn't been used for years, it's usually dry rotted. So you'll want to pull that off and then you can you can get a new rubber tire from me as well. And it's, it's right there and it slips on and off. You just take a flat headed screwdriver or I've got a little pointed file and you just get there and you know, get behind it and just pull forward and it'll come right off. Um, and that's basically it. That's all you really need to worry about back here with all these pulleys. I know it looks confusing, but it really is a simple design. And that's what makes it really nice because you can get at it. If you've seen any, any of the other projectors out there, um, some of the older ones, not in the Gaff line or in the Montgomery Wards or Sears line, but a lot of those are really hard to get at those uh, pulleys and the drive pulleys. And uh, like I said, this flat pulley take you less than, you know, if I was just doing it without talking through it, I could have probably did it in less than two minutes. Um, but again, the last thing we want to do is take this spring, okay? You want to take a, a pointy object, um, again, I'm using my little file, and you just get it in there and bring it down and just kind of work it around and then just release it and that's it. And that's just holding a little bit of tension up, that's all, just a little bit of tension. And if this spring ever did go, you can buy them at most hardware stores. So um, if you ever did uh, need one, you could just get it there. And then the last thing is just put your fan back on push it on, make sure it does not hit your plastic part here, make sure it spins, and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. Put your light bulb back and uh, start it up and make sure it, uh, it works properly. So I hope this has helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Take care.